Hi ladies and gentlemen, you think Lemo Ultimate looks already good? You are so wrong. Watch the video and you will see. Let's get straight to the point. Um, I have two versions. I have a free version and a pro version. Um, for the pro version, you need to pay 5 euros for a Patreon page called Pascal uh, Gliescher. He is uh, uh, Marty McFly mods, um, the guy who make the ray tracing versions for Reshade. And uh, I will explain you for the pro version how to install that. It's uh, the same version, uh, the same pro procedure. Um, you click here on download for reshade, um, download reshade, then you start it, then you search for Limo Ultimate, Paradix 10, 11, 12. So here's important, you activate um, the Q unit by Marty McFly. And in the bottom, the Immerse by Marty McFly. Next, finish. So, what else you need to do is, you need to download these two ini files. These are the presets. And I will show you that now. You go here to um, the Ultimate and you need to just go the normal um, file um, and you paste it here and that's it so here is the Martin McFly Patreon page you need the, um, the Ray Tracer uh, membership uh, cost 5 euros and as of the video my understanding is um, you pay one time 5 euros and um, you can use these uh, shaders um, forever then if you did that, you need to uh, connect uh, Discord with uh, Patreon. Then you can download it from the Discord server, the Immerse Pro um, zip file. Then you have here the license file, the shaders and textures, Control C and um, paste it into um, in the standard uh, folder of Lima Ultimate and here reshade shaders, double click and Control V for insert. That's all. Now we go into the game. So now we are in the game. You need click position one. You click here in the top. Scroll down, and depends on what version you have want uh, the free or the pro. I have the pro. You click on it, and then he directly loads it after pressing um, choose. And look at the difference. It's just the, the starting screen and look at the difference. It's so much more immersive. One thing I have to say, um, everyone have a different monitor and every monitor shows colors a bit different. So the settings are totally at my needs, what I like to my monitor. Can be that the colors are too much for you or something like that. Then you have to play around with the filters and uh, um, yeah, adjust it to your needs. For me, it's perfect that way. I'm, I'm very, very happy. In the future, I will try to get a ray tracing running for high-end systems. And uh, maybe we can enhance the, the lightnings a little bit more. But that's all for now. Watch a little bit the comparison between the two versions uh, between uh, the original one and uh, the pro version of photorealistic reshade. So then I hope you liked the video and I would appreciate it if you give a sub to my channel and if you like the video, I uh, hope you can uh, enjoy the races uh, with the reshade filter and uh, see you on track. Bye.